Can you see how people are getting the response so far whenever they send a message to my inbox on WhatsApp? Using some strategy, you have set everything from my own back end. So whenever I set all these things, their message will prompt some responses I've replied. So whenever they send a message, they will get the response immediately. And that's what I will be showing you in this video. So this video was supposed to come in two parts because there are some that I am the one that set it. And there are some that AI will be the one to be responding to them. So anyways, I'll be explaining both parts for you in the video whenever I get to my first way. So this video is for you. If you're a lazy news like me that finds it difficult to respond to at least hundreds of messages in a day. In fact, it can be so energy doing it, trying to respond to the same questions from hundreds of customers or hundreds of new people at the same time. And most people think it's work of this video. This video is also for you if you're a WhatsApp marketer that drives at least hundreds new leads to your WhatsApp on a daily basis. So here is the solution. I'm trying to solution for you. We will be making use of one app called Autoresponder. This Autoresponder is only for WhatsApp. So when you go to your Play Store, you see a lot of Autoresponder, but the one you have to pick is the one showing on the screen with the icon of green and then on You also need to register with OpenAI. That is an artificial intelligence. So you have to register on it using your Gmail account. And I will show you that when I get it. If you download the app on Play Store, you will be given a seven-day free trial. They will start debiting you after the seven-day free trial. Though I'm on pro version, I don't know if to promise you a pro version of mine because I don't register with anything like email, I don't use any personal details. So I can share it with someone. That's if your own phone supports that. If your phone supports that, I'll give you a pill app. Send a message to the number on the screen. And I'll also drop a link in the description box to this video where you can tap and connect with me on WhatsApp to get a pill app. Okay, so let's go and let me show you how to set up in two parts using your own response and one AI will be helping you to reply. Come to my phone screen where I'll be showing you how to respond to hundreds and thousands of messages at a time using an app and artificial intelligence. First thing first, you have to go to your Play Store and get the app downloaded, the app called Autoresponder. Okay, so for those who doesn't know which one to download from Play Store, so here we go, Autoresponder for WhatsApp. So it's usually be the first one that pops up, but just in case you don't see it at first, this is the one you have to download. So I already have it on my phone and also I'm a pure user. So to get the pure app, you can send a message to the number showing on the screen. I mean WhatsApp number, okay, so I'll share the pure app with you. So now I've minimized my phone to come to the app here. Here is the app. Let's tap on it and let's get started. Okay, so here, if you are just coming to this app for the first time, let's assume, for example, you just downloaded it or you just opened my own pure version, you won't see anything here. Like everything here, every year will be blank and will be plain. Just that I've been a user before, that is why you're able to see all the responses I've said and all the rules I've said here, okay? So let's, let me take you through some of the things you need to know about the app. You see the, these three parallel lines at the left hand side here? Is where you can get everything about the app. So this one says rules. That is where I was coming from. That um, all these messages are called rules on this app. This one that says answer replacements. That is if I want to edit any of my rules here, I can just tap on answer replacements. This one that says test your rules. That is if I just added any rules and I want to know if it is working or if it will respond to people's message, I will test it right from this app before I go back to my WhatsApp. Okay. And this is reply history where you can see all the response this autoresponder have replied to. Now let me show you some of the thousands of the messages this app have helped me to reply to. Can you see all of them? If you scroll down, you will see I've responded. I'm a marketer. I've drive enough, enough traffic to my WhatsApp. So I can send any message, I can send any rules, and this app will be responding to them at a time. No matter how much they are, it will reply to every one of them at a time. Okay? So now let's go back. If you want to set your rules, the first thing you need to do is to come to this additional button, which you will see on your own, instead of all this, instead of all this, okay, you will see this additional button here, then you tap on the additional button to set your own rules. What are the keywords that people usually send to your WhatsApp? Is it hello? Is it I? Or you are trying to drive the traffic to your WhatsApp and you want them to use some certain keywords, like hello, I'm interested in what you are promoting, and I get more details. So this is what you have to add here. So now let me say, send me your account details. Send me your account details. You can see we have different, we have different rules here. This one says exact match, similarity match. I don't advise anyone to use this pattern match because it is for experts. And also this expert pattern matching and this welcome message. Do not use this three, this last three. Okay. The one you have to focus on is this first two, which is exact match and similarity match. Exact match simply means you want this app to respond to the exact message that was here. Meaning that if somebody sends you send me your account details, the app will reply the person. But if another person sends, kindly share me your account details. That is for similarity match. It is not exact. It means exactly the same thing. You want me to reply to exactly this type of message. But this similarity match is when some certain keyword are related to, to your response here. Now, as we, as we have input this received message now, this all the other messages down here, other messages down here, has op opened for us. The next thing for us to do is to type in what you want to reply them. How do you want this app to reply them? Whenever they send this particular keyword, you are welcome. Thanks for asking for my account details. Here is it below. Let's assume, for example, I want this app to reply the person like three times. I don't want it to send, I don't want the message to be so bulky for the person. Like I want the app to send it like two times, three times, four times. That is when you come here and tap on this additional button. So you can open more space. Tap on additional button, you can see another space I've opened for us here. So now let me say, okay, here, here is my account details. Then let's assume I want to set the third one and I will now come here and tap on additional button again to open the third line. 
zero eight zero sixty four. This is seven thirty one five three six four. So so for you to not ban my video, that's why I use my contact details. Now let's scroll down a little bit. All this one is not for this video. I mean, this one disconnects open AI. We are still at part one. Now it says delay in seconds. Do you want the receiver to receive the message immediately, or you want it to receive after some minutes or after some seconds, or you want all the message to just send to the person fam like once? So now let's add seconds to it. Three seconds. This one is three seconds. Now with this message, you want this message to be um, you want this app to reply to individuals, groups, or both. And I always recommend individuals, just in case you are not the owner of the group and um, the owner of the group. Um, somebody just asks for an account details in the group, and your other responder was replying with your own account details. People will just be giving you name like you know all these names now. Okay, so. Don't let me call it for you. Let's go down a little bit. This one says separate with commas. You don't need it. Ignore contact. You don't need it. All these conditions. You don't need it. Just keep scrolling down. Show a priority notification. You don't need it. Here you don't need it. This one that says first rule. It is not for this one. You don't need it. So now scroll down and come here. This icon that says mark is means added. That means you are ready. I am ready. And here is the rules I just set now. If you want to delete this rule, you just tap on it and it will turn to red just like this. this like this one here, I've deleted it, I've minus it already. So that's why you see the red icon. If you want to delete it, you come to this gray button and tap on it so as to mark it up. So now let's go and test our rules and see if it's working or not. There is an icon for testing, and you can also come here to set for the test button. Let's test the rule. Send me your account details. Can you see how we get the response? Can you see you are welcome? Thanks for asking for my account details. If to say you respond, you added your account details to it, that is what you will get. And send me your account details. Can yeah, you see that? Your account details. Yeah, you see that? Because we use the similarity method and not the exact method. I use send, I send, send me your account details, I get a response. I also use your account details, I still get a response. Kindly share me your account details. Welcome to the second part of this video and in this guide I'll be showing you how to embed an AI into your autoresponder meaning that instead of you replying, instead of you being the one to be replying people to be setting the rules by yourself AI will be the one to be replying them like no matter what they ask it will be the one to be replying them when you set a rules now then when people ask for your account details your autoresponder will give them the account details but any other question they ask after the account details it will be able to respond to them because you only reply them once so with this AI it will be the one to be chatting chatting and replying them no matter how it is, no matter how long the chat is it will keep giving them an information and this and this is what they call not your way. AI not your way. You have to nurture the AI for the AI to know you so well and know you as its own boss, okay? So the first thing now is to go to our web browser and register with Open AI. That's any of your web browser, open a new tab and input openai.com. Remember you have to log in with your Gmail account because, well, because I already have an account with them. Just come here to tap on menu, come to menu, tap on menu and tap on login because I already have an account. But if you're just coming for the first time, you have to sign up. Tap on sign up and input your email account. But for me, I'm logging in because I already have an account with them. So after your registration, you will land it here. You will be here. You see all these icons down here. Just go down. So once you tap on open a high, you will be here. Then you now come to this new parallel line at the right hand side. Then you tap on it. You see all these lists that will up. Then the next thing for you to do is to tap on API reference. API reference. Tap on API reference. What are we going to do here? We just want to copy our API code. API code. Then come here and tap on API keys. You want to copy. Can you see this? I've copied. I already have my API key. I just want to show you how to copy your own. But if you don't have anything or you don't see anything like code here, just tap on create new secret key. So create new secret key. Once you tap on the create, they will create another new key for you. Then you come here to copy the link. This is the link here. In the middle, this is the link here. So you come there to copy the link and then minimize your phone and let's go to our app for the magic. So now you come here to tap on the additional button and you will see something like this. Let's ask you for example, let's say people always send you LOJ, LOJ, then you will use exact match, meaning that anybody that sends LOJ to you, they will get a response like I'm fine and to you, then you scroll down, don't touch anything here, then pick a sequence like I explained to you earlier, make it an individual, then scroll down, keep scrolling down, do not touch anything again, do not touch anything again, just tap on add on this mark, that means add, tap on add, then we tap on this your message again, we tap on this so it can open up for us, then come down, you will see a sub menu here, this sub menu, this sub menu, we tap on this additional button, meaning that anybody that sends LOD to you, they will get a response of you get the response of I'm fine and you and any other conversation, any other question they ask after the first response, it will be the one to be responding to them. So that is why I want to create another rules under this rules. That is what we call sub menu. Then tap on the additional button. So you can see that's open an additional button for us. What do you want to receive? We are going to be using star, meaning that respond to any type of question the person might ask. The star means respond to anything the person they said that sent to me. Okay. So now instead of you to impute something on this reply message, do not add anything to it. Now come down here to connect open AI. Connect open AI. Can you see this? You now tap on connect open AI. You see something that will pop up like this. Just tap on OK. Then scroll down. Do not touch anything. This is where you have to input your um your API key that you copied from the website I showed you before because my own is has been saved here. Yeah? That's why you're able to see it's like this. Do not touch anything. Just no trace on this key and paste the link there. Then you see where to paste it. That is it. Then input the second tier to choose individual. Scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. And tap on submenu again. Tap on another submenu, meaning that another response will still be connected to this. 
Okay, let's say the first one. Save, then we tap on this view, scroll down, and then we tap on another sub menu. Then if you to your star, exact match, what is the reply? Connect, open AI, then tap on OK, scroll down, don't touch anything, just copy your API key and paste it there. Now you can tap on go to use. Go to use. Meaning that if the person keeps sending another message, AI will be able to be replying them. Go to use and you will see something like previous and ID. Don't choose ID, just leave it at previous. Then tap on this mark here. Meaning we are done. We are going to save this three times. One, two, can you see? And three. Can you see? We have added three views on that just one. Now we are going to be testing this views if it is working or not. Let's go to our testing button. Yeah, you see? So now let me go to my second WhatsApp and chat my main WhatsApp and see how it works. Now on my second WhatsApp, let me chat my main WhatsApp button. And let's see the magic LOJ. You know, this is the, the, the message that was to be added to the rules to prompt the response. So let's wait for the response. Can you see? I'm fine, and you? Great, too. That is wonderful to hear. Is there any specific you would like to chat or ask about? Can you see that? Can you see that? Okay, now let me tell the AI that I had a problem that can it help me to solve it. This was so simple and straightforward. Just carefully watch this video till end. Ask me for my pure version of the app and I'll send it to you on my WhatsApp, okay? And do this for yourself. Not sure the AI will to you. The AI knows you as its own host. And this is very simple. You see how I had it hello there. Instead of you to reply with, I'm fine, wait, and you, you just tell the AI a little bit introduction about yourself. And if you want to know how this thing works, you can send hello to my WhatsApp contact, show it on the screen, and see the response you'll be getting. No matter what you ask my AI, you surely get a response. Even if you ask for what it doesn't know, it will tell you to wait for me till I'm back online to come and respond to you by myself. That is it. It's very simple and straightforward. Just pay attention to this video or watch the video again. I hope you find this video helpful. If you do, just help me to recommend this video to us. To WhatsApp marketers, okay, and I would appreciate that. Thank you so much for watching my video, and I'll see you in my next video. And the saddest part of this video or this solution is that it doesn't work for an iPhone user at all. iOS users, our market today. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like this video by giving it a thumbs up and comment what you like. If this works for you, let me know in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so as to be notified whenever I publish an awful video like this. And thank you for watching my video.